what is the difference between the BIM in France and the work in France and in comparison to the US. So when you switched, what kind of cultural shock or differences you face with? So can you illustrate a little bit on those aspects? I would say that first, the good thing with with BIM is that, and and at least at least the good thing, at least within the company, is that we have some standards on the tooling side and the technology side. So I was really, you know, familiar with the, for example, the Autodesk ecosystem and the Bentley ecosystem, and in fact, are, we are using the same tools in the US when we compare France to the US. And, and we said, okay, how to manage an implementation on a large scale? I think most of it comes with standardization. So you want to have some level of standardization so that that culture, cultural barrier you could face between countries is a bit less thanks to the standard framework you provide with the technology. So we'll say that on that front, you know, Revit is maybe a Revit in French and Revit in American, but that's Revit at the end of the day. So, so in on that front, that's the same thing. Then, how do you manage a project? How do you approach the 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 um, the client relationship? And how do you approach innovation? I would say, yeah, here is different. I, I remember spending a lot of time in France before having the buying from the leadership in you know, demonstrating the value coming with um, very robust, maybe business plans and trying to convince all the stakeholders one by one, where when you come, when I came to the US presenting, you know, the, the BIM concept and what you can get from it, I was really feeling that people were like, oh yeah, that sounds great, let's do it. Um, and that was really like, okay, we do it, but if you do not have return on investment in the six months, then you're done. You know, then you're like, okay, didn't work. So we'll try something else and something new. And so I think that's this culture of, you know, try, uh, trying fast and failing fast. And that's okay to fail. You know, that's okay. You, you need to be agile, especially today in this digital and techni the new technology world. Things are moving so fast. So that it makes sense to try and to fail and to try again until you are successful and you find the right, the right balance. So I think that was for me the, the biggest, uh, you know, change where, I was presenting something to some leaders in, in the US and I was like, oh yeah, you're on board, okay. But then then you have a level of expectation which is maybe a bit higher <laughs> and you, you need to make sure that you have the proper support to your team so you make it happen otherwise you have some troubles too, which makes sense. Absolutely. What you, what you just said, level of expectations can be you know very unrealistic and when you lose, you know, like, or when you don't, you know, control that level of expectations, you can lose trust. And which is a huge enemy, the biggest enemy, I would say, to BIM. Uh, when you lose the trust of the investors or stakeholders, you know, you suddenly don't have any anyone to hold on and to say you go, go ahead and push forward with the BIM. And which is a different culture. And in one of my studies, when I was like studying um, and publishing one publication, it was, I was studying between the differences of US and UK market and the differences in the marketplace, which actually we just discussed again, this one briefly. Um, this, uh, when we talk about the US market, we are talking about that the clients or employers are more trusting and holding on the stakeholders. Like these would be general contractor, architect, and um, um, the project managers. This is based on the survey of the participants from the US. And from UK, it's suddenly changing. And most of the people are relying on the actual client employer. So they want that employer to be incorporated and they had le least trust, one of the least trust actually, to project managers, which was very strange. And you know, like they, they, they have their vision totally different. And I can understand it because of the market and because of market space. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.